message this evening. The message is titled as uh, My Good Pleasure. Uh, it is talking about God's good pleasure. Yes. What is God's good pleasure? What's God's pleasure for you? You to ask yourself What is my God's good pleasure for me? We're going to see seven uh, uh, of uh, the points here And uh, each one is very powerful First one, uh, I think you'll like it a lot. Prosperity. Psalms 112, verse 3 and 4. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteousness. Let us stand and honor the word of God. Father, we bring this word of God to the of praise. The day of Vati, 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 the Yesu Namathil Pidavi. Amen, 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 Amen. Amen. So here, the first point is on prosperity. God's word is a spoken word. What is the spoken word means? What has proceeded from the mouth of God? Some of it is, uh, uh, it is you know, it is um, uh, counsel. Some of it is a command. And uh, some of it is a, uh, is a, a promise. But in this Psalms 112, 3 and 4, we see it is a command. It says, the wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. God is commanding wealth and riches to be in our house. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. That's what the Lord, the Lord has spoken. What he has commanded. So this is the uh, special grace with, for everyone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to tell you something uh, about a revelation. Uh, well, I don't, uh, 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 I'm not trying to hurt anybody, uh, any of the other pastors. Uh, but the truth is, uh, while we uh, started the life changing church, uh, we started the church in the house uh, and we uh, are looking out for a place. Many showed a place in the terrace and said, Why don't you put a uh, uh, shamiana or some uh, uh, hut over there and have the service there? But the Lord God whom I serve has revealed to me and showed to me the house where we worship will be the best and it will be wonderful, it will be, uh, it'll be better than the best. That revelation, I started looking out for a place. 14 years back, God gave this place. And God said, 
this will be a place where my seal is, where my sign is. And it has been here for the last 14 years. Now God has blessed us with a very wonderful church. Our own place is going to come up in the very, very, very best way. Yeah. Oh, our desire is to make it look the best. And it will be so. The reason is, we believe in a God who has uh, who is who is a who is a, 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 a possessor of heaven and earth? He's a rich God. He's a great God. Who oh, all the gold and silver and everything belongs to him. He has taken us into his fold. So we walk in his word. That's why we, it says we walk in His righteousness. The one who is the righteousness of God, who we are, we in house we in our house wealth and riches will be wealth and riches will be it has to be there that is the understanding we should have it doesn't belong the wealth and riches doesn't belong anywhere else it belongs to the one who walks according to God's word if anything else is there in your mind which the enemy has put I am telling you take it and throw it out it is not because of your mind or because of your power. So it's, it's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. By the power of the Holy Spirit. We having wealth and riches in our house is by the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, I didn't intend this, but we will go to Deuteronomy chapter 8, 18 and read that verse. Holy Spirit is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, prompting me to uh, go to this word. So can somebody read this? 8.18 of Deuteronomy. And you shall remember the Lord thy God for it is He that gives you the power to get wealth. That he may establish his covenant. That he may establish his covenant. Which he swore to your father. Which he swore to your father. As it is this day. As it is this day. It is a covenant which we had made with us through our father Abraham that wealth should be in our house. What is it written over there? He has given you the power to get wealth. The power to get wealth is the Holy Spirit power. How God Almighty is in heaven. He is a God who is the greatest, wealthiest God uh, because He is owning the whole heaven and the earth. His spirit is in us. And His spirit in us will, will give us the power to get wealth in our house. See, just like God says uh, He wants your body to be the uh, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, your body should be holy. Yeah. 
அந்த உடலானது சரீரமானது பரிசுத்த ஆவியனுடைய ஆலயமா இருக்கிறது அது பரிசுத்தமா இருக்க வேண்டும் என்ற விதமாக தேவன் சொல்லுகிறாரோ வாழ்க்கையில் <laughs> 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 That is what we need to know. If there is any poverty mentality in your mind, remove it. If you wonder why, how I will become rich, it is not you, it is not your effort. It is by the power of the Holy Spirit. God has given us the power to get wealth and it is a covenant which he has made with our father Abraham. பிள்ளைகள்ஸ்வரியத்தினாலும் <laughs> Bible says in uh, in Isaiah chapter 5:13 They were in captivity because of lack of knowledge. There is something wrong in our life that we don't have that type of wealth and riches it is because of lack of knowledge. நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையில ஏதோ தவறாக இருக்கு அந்தந்தமான ஆசியம் ஐஸ்வரியம் எல்லாம் இருக்குறத கண்டால அது அறிவு குறைவாக நமத்தமாக Today the word of God is coming to you. இதுக்கு தேவனுடைய வாக்கியானது நமக்கு வந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறது. Which is the knowledge which God is giving into us. நம்முடைய <laughs> <laughs> I need to when we have the peace of God in us namakullaga nam deiva samadhanathe udeyavargala irukkumbodhu bible says our house will be a prosperous palace namal vedamana solugirad namudey veedanathu oru selippana aranmaniya irukku one who god of peace is in us samadhanathil deiva namakullaga irukkara therefore the prosperity will be in our house adha nimathamaga nichiyamaga adu selippanathu namudey veettile irukkum so the first point is about his uh, god's good pleasure is uh, for his people to be prosperous adha mudal kurippanathu devanukku nalla priyamaana inbamaana kaariyamaanathu avrudiya janangal selippile irupadhu endru wealth and riches shall be in my house say that as the aisvaryam enudeya veetile irukkum adhai nam solluvom say that wealth and riches will be in my house as the aisvaryam enudeya veetile irukkum say that that is go to the next time adutha dikku selluvom next is his good pleasure is that uh, his his people his children will have knowledge nalla piriyamana ippamana kaariyamana adutha kurippana avrudeya pillaigalukku and arivanadu irukkum see the knowledge the tree of knowledge was there in the midst of a uh, garden of eden and arim and arim virucham anad eden in thottathan pattiyile irundathu at that time god told adam and eve not to eat from the tree and the nerathile devan adavum meva nadakkum sonna kaariyam anad adha virucham anad pusikka vendam they ate and they fell avargal pusithu vilutargal they fell in sin avargal paadathile vilutargal after that jesus came for us and he redeemed us from this power of sin adathu kuraki yesu namakkaga vandu nammi indha paadathan vallamil irundha veettukonda while we were redeemed from the power of the sin in the path of the knowledge we were meet to come but what what happened in our life from the one kill in and that while we are deemed from the power of sin the path of the knowledge we were meet to come there we needed knowledge to walk according to the will of god and we have the arivana the devia given the devity siddhatan padiyaga nadapadan god revealed his will through his word they were not the siddhati avadi vaarthai moolamaga velippadu now everyone who is born again has to be filled with 
the knowledge of God and His ways. They are already in the Arabic language. Already, the Arabic language is not only there, but there is a way. Hosea chapter um, six six says, Hosea. For I desired mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. But here, Allah, you are not telling him. That kind of believing in part, but the devotee, Hari, 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 If you have that knowledge, that is more than sufficient for you. The reason why we have a, 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 we have a fear and a trouble in our heart is because there is no knowledge about our God. Sadrak, Meshak, and Abednego. If they dare to tell the king, He will not bow down that idol. But if you want, you can throw us into the fire. But my, our God will deliver us. They had a revelation about their God. They dared to challenge the king. Who threatened them with death. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego challenged death because they had knowledge of God. If you have the knowledge of your God, you can challenge death. You de death cannot hold you because you have the knowledge about who your God is. The keys of hell and death is in the hands of Jesus. Once he is died, he will die no more. He has taken victory over death. That victory belongs to each one of us. How long you can live? As long as you desire. As long as you desire, you can live. The enemy, the devil, cannot take your life. Because it is according to your desire what God will do. No, nobody can die unless uh, they are saying, "Oh Lord." I feel I want to come to your I, I want to come to your house. I want to come to my house where you are. You know what happened in uh, 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 mighty man of God Smith Wiggles words uh, life. His wife died. When he had gone for a, uh, for a ministry. When he came Out uh, when they came back, uh, saw many crying over there. Uh, told them, please go out from here. And he closed the door and uh, picked up his wife. And made a stand and uh, spoke the spirit of life into her and rebuked the spirit of death. She came back alive. You know why? God said, "Go back, my son is uh, calling you." Without Spirit Wiggles' words permission, God said, "I will not take her." The wife has got a power over the, uh, the husband has got the power over the wife. Even if the wife says, "I want to die." <laughs> <laughs> the husband can say, no, you will not go. Because uh, that, is how, that is how God, uh, God works. Uh, the, wife, the wife has been taken out of man. 
மனுஷனை <laughs> <laughs> நடந்து <laughs> ஜாதியாக்கி உன்னை ஆசிர்வதித்து உன் பேரை பெருமைப்படுத்துவேன் நீ ஆசிர்வாதமாக இருப்பாய் 
the part of the blessing is making us great our great god want to make our name great it is his good pleasure to make our name great did, he, did god do it for abraham did god do it for david when, uh, when we know so many uh, men of god who have uh, who have walked according to god's word and and uh, their name has been made great uh, also many business people uh, who have walked according to god's word god has lifted up them up and their their name is great uh, you know their name is great we don't know that they worship the uh, true god there are many many like that when God has lifted them up and they have become great businessmen who believe in the true living God Jesus God is a God of uh, 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 who's a faithful God. What He has said, He will do. While we uh, believe it's all what God is doing in our life, give thanks to Him for what's happening in our life. We are walking humbly. The minute you think it's all because of me, Gone. The person will lose everything. Many believers have come to that level where they thought it's all because of them and they come to a level and they have uh, they lost everything. God resisted the proud. God Lifted up the humble. Next is the fourth fear of the Lord. God's good pleasure is that we have the fear of the Lord. Psalm 147 was 11. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear Him, in those that hope in His mercy. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear Him. Job feared God. Job had the, Job had the fear of God. Did God take pleasure in him? He took pleasure in him. He was one of the richest men or the, the, the most richest man in the East. That is what the Bible tells us. So when the Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear of the Lord. God will make sure that we will be greatly blessed. Why are we uh, uh, learning all this? So that we know how to do according to the pleasure of God. My good pleasure. These are the things which are my good pleasure for you. Having the respect and honor for God is the fear of the Lord. And hoping in is a miracle working power which is mercy, that is a, that is a fear of the Lord. We have that fear of the Lord. The Lord taketh pleasure in us. Fifth, uh, fifth point. Building his house. God taketh pleasure in them who buildeth his house. Haggai chapter 1 verse 8. 
great take that was Haggai chapter 1 verse 8. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified, said the Lord. God says he's got great pleasure in everyone who buildeth his house. What happened to David? King David wanted to build God's house. God said that no, you will not do, you will not build my house. But your son Solomon will do. But because you have the heart's desire to build my house, now I will build your house. Was David on the streets? He was a king. And why did God say, uh, God say, I will build your house? It doesn't matter, you are in a palace, I am going to give you a greater palace. Just because you have a big house, that doesn't mean you will not get moved into a bigger house. So it, this, is, this is not the end of the journey. Oh, for David, God said, I am going to build a house for you already when he was in the palace. Why? Because David had in his heart to build God's house. How did he build God's house? He gave everything what he had in abundance. John 2 Chronicles chapter 29 it talks about it. What is his heart? 29th chapter, which is the verse? Yeah. 19th verse. Is it one from it? One from One from and Chronicles chapter 29. Seven. Verse 7. Okay, read that. Read that in English first. They gave to the work of the house of God. They were gave for the work of the house of God. Five thousand talents. Five thousand talents. And ten thousand garrets of gold. Ten thousand? Garrets of gold. Garrets of gold. 10,000 talents of silver. 10,000 talents of silver. 18,000 talents, 18, talents of bronze. 100,000 talents of iron. 100,000 talents of iron. I would say, uh, who am I to be? That was 14. 14, uh, 14. But who am I and who are my people? This is, this is what David said. Who am I and who are my people? That we should be able to offer so willingly. That we should be able to offer so willingly. As this. As this. For all things come from you. All, for all things come from you. And for you own we have given you. And from you, and your own, own we have given you. So. Fourteen, only fourteen. Ipani manapuru mai kodukam trani undavakrakana yamatiram. In janangal yamatiram. Yellam umal undanadu. Umadu karakali vangi umadu kodukum. Hallelujah. David's humility. He was a king and he had so much of money. What did he say? Who am I and who are my people to give you, Lord? Whatever we have, we have received from you and now we are giving you. You will take how much of you want. First let the house of God be built. Then I know I will I, I will receive the blessing. 
மட்டுப்படுத்துவது மூலமாக Being a, being a very, very liberal. Oh, I need to build this house and finish it. It will be done by me. If, if somebody rises up like that, I'm telling you that person has got Oh, David's heart. So building his house. Anybody is building God's house. God says, My good pleasure. My good pleasure is with him. For he is, ha- he is having the heart to build my house. You know what a powerful ministry that is uh, there are the people are going to come and worship and praise uh, where the truth is going to be revealed uh, that is how God does his work pastor just comes believing God the pastors we left everything and come came saying Lord you call us we come now how god is going to fulfill his work how is he going to do it you know how god is going to do it how god is going to fulfill his work you know the devil already very even among the various things the pastors paper club wala ma by bringing people together generally one day kodi vara same the having the same vision and the same mission adhe darisathi madhe padiyum avade manathile odi varu gathering together and for a common cause one day they need to one kodi ore kaaranathukka so that god can bless them adha mulama devan avargal aasam that is how, that is the revelation about building god's house so let us go to the next point salvation friendship salvation uh, or we talk about adopting as his children oh that gives a, a good a, a great pleasure for god why we got saved god had a He had, it was his good pleasure that we have got saved devanukku adu periyamunnada irundathu nam rakshikapattade endru we'll go to the word for that adha konda na vaarthaikku nam seduvom ephesians chapter 1 verse 5 ipc 1 avadhigaram 5th verse okay there is one more only after this idakku piraga mele ondru mattume ephesians chapter 1 verse 5 ipc 1 avadhigaram vasanam aithu having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will namadhi aarad vasanam tammudiya thaimulla siddhathan padiye namme yesu christu moolamai tamakku swigara putra raagumbadi mun kurithirukkara it must be that according to good pleasure of his will so be something before or after see in 5 uh, or 7 according to the good pleasure of his will and tamudiya thaimulla siddhathan padiye 6 6 tamudiya thaimulla siddhathan padiye nammai yesu christu moolamai tamakku swigara putra raagumbadi mun kurithirukkara so it is his 
good pleasure according to his will adu avarku nalla periyumana karyama irukkirathu avarude siddhatham padiyaga that he predestinated us unto the adoption of his as our as a his child as as his child avarude pilliyaga nam sridharam seiyapaduvathu endradhu munkurikkapatta oru karyama irukkirathu and it is according to his good pleasure mattum adu avarku nalla periyumana karyama karyama irukkirathu you coming into salvation is according to god's good pleasure nam rakshapukullaga varuvathu endradhu devanukku nalla periyumana karyathukku endrapadiyaga irukkirathu you being adopted as a god's child is according to his good pleasure devudi pilliyaga nam sridharam seiyapattathu endradhu devanukku nalla periyumana karyathukku endrapadiyaga irukkirathu our salvation is god's good pleasure nammudi rakshipu devanukku periyumana karyama irukkirathu otherwise why should god do so much through jesus christ at the cross illiyattal edarkaga devan ivalum adhigamana karyangalai selavendi yesu kristu moolamai seiyavendum that there should be no way that man should be lost yetta vaga yetta vaga ninga manushan edandu pogamal irukka vendum endru no way the man soul should be lost manushudi and aathmavanadu edandu pogapadamal irukka vendum when everything available at the cross for us selavile ella kaaryangalum namakku kedaikkapadiyaga that his good pleasure according to his will will be done in our life through being saved avani siddhatham padiyaga avarku nalla priyamana kaaryamanadu nam rakshikapaduvathan moolamaga nammudaiya vaazhkaiyile seiyapaduvatharkka so now we'll see the first six then we'll go to seven ippozhudhu nam mudhal aarai paarthu nam nam edukku selluvom so you shouldn't forget enna nalla marandu vidakoodathu so first is what everybody knows first is prosperity mudhalile enna selippu my good pleasure a god's good pleasure in your life is to see that you prosper devanukku periyamana kaaryam nammudi vaazhkaiyile kaanpadu endru nam seri padivadai second is god's good pleasure that you have knowledge about god and his word devanukku periyamana kaaryam nadu devane kurithu avudeya vaarthe kurithu nam arivai vidiyavargalaga irupadu third moonravada god's good pleasure that you walk humbly so that he can lift you up in due season devanukku periyamana kaaryam nadu nam manatha நன்றாவதாக <laughs> இதிலே தேவனுடைய வீட்டை கட்ட வேண்டும் என்றுடையவர்களே that he may bless them அவர்களை அவர் ஆசீர்வதிக்கும்படியாக beyond their own understanding அவருடைய புத்தகத்துக்கு அப்பாற்பட்டு sixth one is ஆறாவது குறிப்பு god's good pleasure to adopt you as his own child தேவனுக்கு நல்ல பிரியமான காரியமாக இருக்கிறது நம்மை அவருடைய சொந்த பிள்ளையாக ஸ்வீகாரம் செய்து கொள்வது என்பது in other words your salvation is according to god's good pleasure வேறு வாக்கிய சொல்ல வேண்டும் என்றால் நம்முடைய இரட்சிப்பானது தேவனுக்கு பிரியமான காரியமாக இருக்கிறது last but not the least கடைசியான காரியமானால் குறைவான காரியம் அல்ல ஏழாவது பாயிண்ட் ஏழாவது குறிப்பு ரிவீலிங் மிஸ்ட்ரிஸ் ரகசியங்களை வெளிப்படுத்துவது we know daniel said about it நாம் அறிந்திருக்கிறோம் தானியல் அதை குறித்து சொல்லியிருக்கிறார் how god is a god who uh, who reveal secrets நம்முடைய தேவன் அந்த ரகசியங்களை வெளிப்படுத்துகிற தேவன் என்று சொல்லியிருக்கிறார் so if it is uh, we are going to see here an efficient so it is god's good pleasure uh, that he may reveal his secrets to us நீங்க நாம் காத்திருக்கிறோம் எபேசியர்களே தேவருக்கு நல்ல பிரியமான காரியமாய் இருக்கிறது அவருடைய ரகசியங்களை தேவன் நமக்கு வெளிப்படுத்துவது என்பது they won't be anything which is hidden from god's people தேவன் தனக்குள்ளிருந்து அந்த எந்த ஒரு காரியமும் மறைக்கப்பட்டதா இருக்காது if anybody tries to do anything against you god can reveal that to you in your prayer யாராவது ஏதாவது நமக்கு எதிராக செய்ய முயற்சித்தால் தேவன் அதை நம்முடைய ஜெபத்திலே நமக்கு வெளிப்படுத்துவார் god is a god who reveals the mysteries about his will தேவன் அந்த அந்த அவருடைய சித்தத்தை குறித்து இருக்கும் அந்த ரகசியங்களை வெளிப்படுத்துகிற தேவனாக இருக்கிறது எபிசன் சாப்டர் 1 வெர்ஸ் 8 அண்ட் 9 எபிசன் ஒன்றாவது அதிகாரம் வசனம் 8 9 ஓலதே wherein he had abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he had purposed in himself Oh, Tamil is in different verse. Ten to verse six. Ten to verse six. அந்த கிருவியை அவர் சகல ஞானத்தோடும் புத்தியோடும் எங்களிடத்தில் பெருகப்படின 
வெளிப்படுத்துவது